What's up y'all, Odeed aka Big Jake here once again and today we're doing another spare rib video. So I'm going to do a little experimenting today. Um, as some of you may know, people will uh, use an ugly drum smoker or a barrel smoker and they will cook ribs on them and they will hang them using meat hooks like this. Now I've personally never done it before but I hear the ribs come out great when you cook them like that. So we're going to go ahead and get some ribs prepped up and then we're going to go ahead and cook them on my Weber Smoky Mountain and hang them in the Weber Smoky Mountain and see how they come out. All right, so here's the rack of ribs that I have. We're gonna do a little bit of trimming. We're gonna take the membrane off and we're gonna put uh, some of my Big Jake's dang old rub on it. Uh, just use whatever pork rub you normally use. And if you wanna purchase some of my dang old rub, hit me up on Instagram. My Instagram handle is DJ Odeed. All right, let's go ahead and do that. All right, these are ready to go. We're gonna go ahead and put them in a food saver bag, let them sit in the fridge overnight, and then we will fire up the Weber Smoky Mountain tomorrow. All right, y'all, it is the next day. Let me show you guys how I'm gonna set up the Weber Smoky Mountain. All right, y'all, I'm gonna set this up minion method. I have uh, some unlit charcoal over here on uh, my left, and then on my right, I'm gonna uh, dump some lit charcoal into there, and of course, I have some wood chunks for uh, smoke flavor. All right, now the next step, I'm gonna do a little experimenting. I have this rotisserie unit here. By the way, I will put a link in the description on where to buy one of these. And then I'll use this spit, hang the meat hooks on the spit. Then just put the lid on. And we're gonna bring this thing up to temp, probably somewhere 250, 275, somewhere around there. And then uh, we'll hang the ribs. All right, we're sitting about 280 on the dome. Uh, everything seems to be going fairly well. Let's go ahead and hang these ribs. I mentioned I've never done this before. Then I'm gonna hang them over here on the opposite side of where the fire is, uh, cause they're gonna be hanging pretty low and I don't wanna burn uh, the bottom end of them. So fire's on this side. We got the unlit charcoal on this side. The smoke is going. I think this is gonna work. Fingers crossed. Let's go ahead and close the lid. Now my guess is this is gonna take somewhere around three hours, but honestly, it's gonna be done when it's done and not a second sooner. So we'll check back on them in about an hour or so. All right, one hour in people, let's check these out. Yeah, they're looking really good. They got a nice color on them. They look real nice. So yeah, let's keep going. We'll check back on them again in another hour. All right, y'all, two hours in. Uh, smokers run a little hotter than I thought it might be. We're at about 300 degrees, but you know what? It's probably all good. Not too worried about it. Let's go ahead and pick them up, see what they look like. Oh yeah, check those out. They're looking good. Very nice. And they're not getting burnt on the bottom, which is real good. Uh, definitely say another hour, so let's keep cooking them. All right, y'all, the ribs are done. Total cooking time was three hours. I'd say the average temperature was right around 280. Um, and then I took them off, let them rest, and uh, just put a light coating of barbecue sauce on them. Let's go ahead and check them out. Um, First off, I'll definitely say without wrapping and with having that direct fire real close to the ribs, they definitely have a heavy crust on them. So if you like a nice bark on your ribs, this is the way to go. Again, let's take a look. So yeah, they look pretty good. They're nice and juicy. Got a nice bark on them. I wish they were a little thicker here at the end, but there's nothing I can do about that. That was the pig's problem. Let's take a bite. Oh yeah, those are nice. Um, because the water pan was taken out of the WSM and they were kind of hanging, um, the fat kind of rendered off, dripped down the ribs and then hit those coals. The steam came back up again. So you get this like almost like charred kind of like grilled flavor to it. And then of course you get the smoke and then the rub. They're nice and tender. They're nice and juicy. They're really good. Um, 
So if you want to do some ribs on your WSM and kind of do them like ugly drum style and um, almost get like a, like a charred kind of bark on them, it's a good way to do it. My name is OD and I'm out. Peace.